with this soap, I wanted to make a swirly in the pot swirl type of soap. So I started off by mixing my oils and my lye water together and getting them to the point that I needed them to be. And here I'm just showing what that amount trace is, <laughs> what that amount of trace is. And then I don't normally show this, but how I mix in my colorants and my fragrance. I did end up adding fragrance to this soap. Uh, I used, it's been a while since I made this soap, I used, I used black raspberry vanilla scented uh, fragrance for this soap. And here off screen, unfortunately it didn't capture uh, the in the pot swirl. So I just placed the three different colors. I used voodoo pink, I used emerald green, and I used emerald green with a little bit of activated charcoal for the third color. And to my surprise, they ended up looking a little bit like watermelon colors. So I think pretty soon I'm gonna try to make a, a watermelon soap maybe with some watermelon fragrance, although that can be a little bit scary because it just will look too delicious and smell delicious and that's a dangerous combination. <laughs> I think that for this soap, I would have preferred to disperse the colors a little bit more evenly. I started off with a lot of white on the bottom part and ended up saturating the top with too many colors and it ended up looking I don't know, like a, a gradient, but of, <laughs> of stripes. Not that many stripes at the bottom, a lot of white, and then stripe, 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 and then just a lot of colors at the top. But that might have been because I dragged the, the popsicle stick a little bit too low. I'm not used to the pop popsicle stick. I ran out of chopsticks, so I had to improvise with a with a popsicle stick. Well, not really a popsicle stick, it's a craft stick. <laughs> I did not ingest a popsicle to get that stick. I bought it from the store in a pack of I don't know how many. But here I just go in and try to tap it down and fill all those little nooks and crannies, make sure that all the soap is in there. Although I'm still going to go tap it down on the floor when I'm done. I always do that. I'm paranoid of bubbles. And I really wanted to do a swirl at the top. I always like to do swirls if I don't do any kind of frosting on the top of the soap. It just makes for a prettier soap, even though you don't get when you purchase the soap in one bar, you don't get the big dramatic effect of the entire loaf of soap. It's still kind of a pretty little swirl. You get to see it on the top and it, it's just more pleasant. So anyway, that a little bit of extra happiness can be added in there. It's good. I like it. I like to add that in there. I did speed up the video a little bit just because it's a basic in the pot swirl, so there isn't that much to it. And most of the action, so to speak, was off screen, unfortunately. I'll have to try to find a way to make my tripod a little bit taller so that more of my working area is visible. Or at least possibly get a different angle in there. I'll, I'll see what I can do to get a little bit more. And it's time to cut the soap. This is always what we rush into. Or at least I do. Can I cut my soap yet? Can I cut my soap yet? What's it gonna look like? But of course we already kind of know what it's going to look like.
right around this time I start thinking, I, I start looking at it, thinking, wow, this really does look a lot like watermelon. For these soaps, we've been using the cold process, oven process, well, oven process, slightly modified, I guess. We just make our cold process soap the regular way, adding some sodium lactate in there and after we're done with the process of the soap, we preheat our oven to 170 degrees, which is what the lowest option is on our stove and oven, <laughs> the lowest setting. And then we Place it in the oven for about 30 minutes and then just turn off the oven and leave it in there for the rest of the day. Usually it's in the evening that we do this. So by morning, sometimes it, the soap is still a little warm and um, by the end of the day we can go ahead and cut it and sometimes depending on how things go and how the soap looks we might end up waiting an extra day just to make sure it, it's not going to get damaged and it will be okay to cut. But I really do like these colors together. They, like I said, remind me of watermelon and they're always happy times for us. I remember when my mom used to make us some kind of watermelon water, <laughs> sort of like Kool-Aid, she would take out all the juice from the watermelon, juice it up, and, you know, it was the 80s, so she'd add a little extra sugar. <laughs> it was really good. And it would be her favorite snack to eat during the summer, just watermelon. She loved sweet stuff. And her favorite fruit seemed like watermelon. She just couldn't get enough of it. And when I'm looking at this soap, just with these watermelon colors, I just really have a big giant craving for watermelon and to make some watermelon soap. And that's the final picture. Thank you for watching.